Hello friends in this video let us discuss about realloc Using realloc function we can resize the memory area which is already created by malloc or cialloc It is also declared in stdlib.h library Only limitation is that if the memory area is not created dynamically using malloc or cialloc then the behavior of realloc function is undefined realloc function takes two argument first argument is the pointer to the memory block which needs to be resized second is the new size of the memory area it can be smaller or bigger than the actual size let's take the following example we are creating 100 bytes of memory using malloc and ptr holds the base address of the allocated memory If you wish to increase the size from 100 bytes to 1000 bytes you can do it using realloc. So we are passing ptr as the first argument which is the pointer to the memory to be resized and 1000 as the new size of memory to be reallocated. Let us take another example. Here we are declaring an integer pointer ptr. In stack memory memory is allocated for ptr variable. Using malloc function let's allocate some memory. Here we are allocating 5 blocks of 4 bytes. In the next statement we are reducing the allotted memory from 5 blocks to 2 blocks. In this statement we are increasing the allotted memory to 6 blocks. realloc also returns the base address of the resized memory just like malloc or cialloc. If the given new size is smaller than the actual size it will simply reduce the allotted memory given size is bigger than the actual size it will check whether it can expand the already available memory if it is possible it will simply resize the memory otherwise realloc will create new block of memory with a new larger size and copy the old data to the newly allotted memory and then it will deallocate the old memory area for example assume we have allotted memory for two integers we are going to increase the memory size to store four integers if realloc is unable to expand the memory size it will find some other memory space and copy the contents to the new memory and deletes the existing memory block after this it will return the address of the newly allotted memory area That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.